Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd, and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some really good news coming out from the Gaza Strip. It looks like we're going to have a temporary ceasefire, and Hamas has accepted a U.S. proposal to begin talks on releasing Israeli hostages. Okay, this is going to be 16 days after the first phase of this agreement once it's signed. Okay, so we're going to have a temporary ceasefire in the Gaza Strip very soon, and this is very good for Israel because Israel was being forced down a path to have to go to war with Hezbollah because Hezbollah has come out and told them that they need to stop the fighting in the Gaza Strip and then immediately Hezbollah would cease fire. So it looks like we may have a ceasefire in Gaza and then soon after that a ceasefire from Hezbollah as well on the northern side of their country. Now this is not going to be a permanent ceasefire. It is going to be a temporary ceasefire which will allow aid delivery to continue in the Gaza Strip and then Israel is going to withdraw their troops Okay, for a, a short period of time, as long as indirect talks continue to implement the second phase of the agreement. Okay, so the first phase is going to be a ceasefire. Israel is going to withdraw from the Gaza Strip. Then they're going to start to move towards discussing releasing these Israeli hostages that are currently being held by Hamas. We don't know exactly how many left are being held, but Israel was saying there was something around like maybe 40 that are actually still alive. But hopefully there are much more than that. And hopefully these hostages can come back home here very soon. And then after this ceasefire ends and they are able to release some of these hostages, we may see the fighting begin again after that. We'll have to see how these talks go. But this is very, very good news for everybody because that means the fighting is going to end in the Gaza Strip. Israel will stop dropping bombs down there and uh, Hamas will be left alone in the meantime. And hopefully Hezbollah will uh, will discontinue their attacks on the northern side of the country as well because that's been very devastating for Israel. We've had wildfires breaking out on the northern side of their country from hundreds of rockets flying into their territory every single day. So I think this is really the best that Israel can do at the meantime um, because we've, we've done multiple reports as well discussing the fact that uh, the IDF just doesn't have the weaponry or the, uh, the ammunition or the troops or the, the troop morale even um, or the... the uh, materials to repair their their tanks and all these different things all their bulldozers they're running out of material and just everything in their country their ports are starting to collapse we've we've talked about that as well the port of Ilot is is uh, running out of money declaring bankruptcy so their their country's taking a major hit uh, from this war and it's affecting them greatly so I'm sure this is going to help them a lot if they were able to come to some sort of peace at least for a short period of time and hopefully this war will end in the Gaza Strip very soon. So I've got some information here coming out on the Jerusalem Post for you. So let's go over this. Hamas accepts U.S. proposal on talks over Israeli hostages 16 days after first phase, source says. The Hamas source said the proposal guaranteed a temporary ceasefire, aid delivery, and withdrawal of Israeli troops. So this just came out uh, today. Hamas has accepted a U.S. proposal to begin talks on Israeli hostage, releasing Israeli hostages, excuse me, including soldiers and men. 16 days after the first phase of an agreement aimed at ending the Gaza war, a senior Hamas source told Reuters on Saturday. The source said that the proposal ensures that mediators would guarantee a temporary ceasefire, aid delivery, and withdrawal of Israeli troops as long as indirect talks continue to implement the second phase of the agreement. The terrorist Islamic group, Islamist group dropped the demand from Israel first to commit a permanent a ceasefire before signing the agreement and would allow negotiations to achieve that throughout a first six weeks phase. The source told Reuters on condition of anonymity because the talks are private. This would enable Israel to continue on its goal of eliminating Hamas from Gaza after the ceasefire ends. Okay, so the ceasefire is going to be in the first phase. I don't know if this will be a six week ceasefire, maybe shorter. We'll have to see, but it could be up to six weeks according to the agreement here. And uh, after the ceasefire ends, that's when the fighting could continue in the Gaza Strip. And again, I don't know how Israel's going to do this. I mean, maybe they'll be able to recover a little bit ammunition-wise and material-wise if they take a short break from the fighting. But if they continue attacking uh, Hamas down in the Gaza Strip again after the ceasefire ends, well, we're going we're gonna to be back to square one again where Hezbollah's going to be going to be attacking Israel once again. And uh, the, the fighting's going to continue in the Gaza Strip. So it's more of just a temporary ceasefire for right now. But hopefully they can come to some sort of agreement to extend this or maybe even be permanent. We'll have to see. I highly doubt that'll happen, but uh, it's possible. A Hamas official told AP on Saturday that the terrorist organization has withdrawn 
its demand from Israel to commit in advance to the cessation of the war in Gaza as part of a hostage deal. So far, these statements have circulated around Israel and around the world, through, though Hamas has yet to confirm the decision. A Palestinian official close to the internationally mediated peace efforts had said the proposal could lead to a framework agreement if embraced by Israel and would end the nine-month war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. A source in Israel's negotiating team speaking on condition of anonymity said there was now a real chance of achieving agreement. They added that this was a sharp contrast to past instances in the nine-month-old war in Gaza when Israel said conditions attached by Hamas were unacceptable. So yeah, this is a, actually a very major breakthrough on both sides because nor typically Hamas would always tell Israel, no, we will not accept any kind of a ceasefire agreement unless Israel withdraws from the Gaza Strip. And then also Benjamin Netanyahu on Israel's side would come out and say that, well, you know, we're not going to commit to any kind of a ceasefire. We want to eliminate Hamas 110%. So again, that's why this is only this agreement is able to come to the table because it's more of a temporary ceasefire. It is not a permanent one, but we'll see if maybe uh, as time goes on, when this temporary ceasefire is committed to on both ends, maybe that's where they will able, be able to come to a permanent ceasefire after. Hamas informed Hezbollah of its agreement to the ceasefire proposal. Hezbollah leader Sayed Hassan Nasrallah, excuse me, welcome the step. Okay, so that's very big too. If uh, if Nasrallah is is, uh, is welcoming this step of a ceasefire proposal, then that means that most likely Hezbollah will discontinue their attacks on the northern side of Israel. Senior Hamas official Osama Hamdan told AFP the movement expects a response from Israel to its proposals for a ceasefire in Gaza today or tomorrow. If the response is positive, we will discuss the proposals in detail. The movement's military capabilities in the Gaza Strip are still in a good position for the continuation of the war. This came after the Israeli delegation for ceasefire talks returned to Israel on Friday night. According to a statement from the Prime Minister's office on Friday, the talks were only in an initial meeting and the de delegation will return to Doha in Qatar next week to resume talks. The statement also said that there were still gaps between the two sides that needed to be fixed to reach an agreement. Efforts to secure a ceasefire and hostage release in Gaza have intensified over the past few days with active shuttle diplomacy among Washington, Israel and Qatar, which is leading mediation efforts from Doha, where the exile Hamas leadership is based. A regional source said the U.S. administration was trying hard to secure a deal before the presidential election in November. Netanyahu said on Friday that the head of Israel's Mossad intelligence agency had returned from an initial meeting with mediators in Qatar, then that negotiations would continue next week. So this is obviously a big deal as well, right? Because we know that there's a... Uh, there's uh, major elections happening here in the United States very soon in November. There's the presidential election between uh, President Biden right now and also former President uh, Donald Trump. And if Donald Trump ends up getting into office, it's going to completely change the game with all these wars, not just with Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah, but also with the Ukraine war. OK, and we already know that uh, that Donald Trump has come out and stated that he would end that Ukraine war before he even becomes president that as president-elect, he would end this war, okay? So who knows how he would change his stance with Israel, but what I've heard from the past is that Donald Trump would come out and say that uh, Israel needs to hurry up and finish up down in the Gaza Strip. They need to eliminate Hamas already and get out. So basically, he's kind of pushing for just get the job done already and go home so that way uh, you know Hezbollah can stop attacking you in the north. And that's exactly what we're seeing down there, and the, and the attacks are picking up heavy from uh, Hezbollah as well from the northern side of their country. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this and see how this goes. It's obviously going to take a few more weeks probably for them to initiate all of these uh, ceasefire talks and put everything in writing and get it done. Um, so, yeah, it's very good news, though. Hopefully we're going to have a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, even if it means temporarily. So that way the, the people in uh, the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip can also have some peace for right now. Um, and hopefully this leads to a permanent ceasefire. But at the same time, we do know that Israel wants to completely eliminate Hamas. That's Benjamin Netanyahu's stance from the very beginning of this war. So uh, it probably is not going to go that way. It will most likely be a temporary ceasefire for now. And then the war will continue here in probably the next month or two. So let me know what you think down below. But that's going to be it for this update. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can notify you with that. Hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.